families and things it feels like a little, little bit like a parent teacher interview to me. Um, having done a few of those, a little older than last, so I've got past whatever stage he was talking about. So yeah, and it, I find it very interesting to listen to Steve. Um, this was all done independently, of course. We chose our pairings, and I think it's <laughs> we didn't even talk. No, it's very similar. And uh, the interesting thing is our vineyards are within two kilometres of each other. We were planted at much the same time. And so, yeah, what I wanted to show you today was, uh, firstly, perhaps we, we, there's a lot of myths talked about in, in winemaking grape growing, and vine age is one that is debatable. I totally believe in it. So we've, we've shown you a first crop of our high-density vineyard. The, the other myth we talk a lot about is first crop uh, vine, vines not giving the greatest wine you could expect. Well, again, I'd like to, you for to consider that as perhaps uh, a myth as well, depends on what happens. But from my point of view, these, these two wines, the important thing about them is, firstly, it's off our high density planting, 7,700 vines per hectare, uh, planted in 2001. So the 2003 is the first crop, um, and the 2011 is the is the latest incarnation. Again, it's been bottled in bottled in April. So we can see eight years of of bottle age. Uh, vineyard age, um, separating the two. The last tiny bit. Um, it's, it's, all, it's 100% able on its own roots. But the important thing for me, and perhaps what I wanted to discuss today more than anything, was the use of whole bunch. So the first wine, 2003, is zero whole bunch, so all the stem. And we've got ourselves into a position, particularly with vine age, I think, but perhaps a bit of winemaker age as well. We've um, been a bit more brave about it. But yeah, 60% in the, in the 2011. And I guess what's very interesting to me, it's perhaps more important what the vintage has given you more than what, what you actually do with it in the winery. We think the way we approach it is the be all and the end all. But I personally don't see a huge difference between those two wines in their structure. And you would think first crop, zero whole bunch versus eight years later with 60% uh, would be dramatic, but um, I'll happily discuss that. But that's, uh, I must have had a very quick look at the pair of them. And, uh, and the other thing is I'm very pleased with, the other thing we want to show really is the potential of ageing here. I'm very pleased with the way that hose tree is sitting. That was a very, very powerful vintage. We had a lot of fruit, very small crop, and a lot of fruit ripeness. So I think it was a fabulous year, and it obviously is, uh, is, is still quite useful. So.